Hey George, it's LJ. Um, this is my little test run for the 5 p.m. cooking series. I know you asked me to make a Dutch dish, but um, I'm first gonna make another dish which I'm more comfortable with um, as a sort of a, a test, a test series, okay? So in the test series, I'm gonna make pumpkin soup. It's a lovely dish for uh, if it's terrible weather outside and you just wanna uh, snuggle up on the couch and eat soup. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. This is what I've been doing so far. I've been, um, oh no, first the ingredients. Let's first zoom in on the ingredients. Um, you actually need some onions, some uh, sweet potatoes. In Dutch we call them uh, zoete aardappelen, but you can call them sweet potatoes. And some uh, ginger and uh, the garlic okay so this uh, the, the most difficult part of this dish is actually to get the skin off the pumpkin it's a nightmare it's absolute nightmare but you need two things um, grit and a little potato uh, knife okay and one thing I just discovered actually in my test run, before the test run, is that you need to, uh, it becomes, life becomes a lot easier if you cut the pumpkin in small pieces so you can peel off the skin easier, okay? So this is why it's also easier to buy a different kind of pumpkin. I don't know, but in Dutch we call it uh, a flespompoen, which is, I guess, a bottle pumpkin if you can translate it like that. It's much easier uh, to, uh, to peel, actually, those m pumpkins. Okay. And this is what I love about cooking, you know? You're just working all the time. Okay, the next phase is to uh, cut and peel the onions. Um, I guess uh, you're gonna put two, two onions in. Okay, George, um, as you know, we're in the flavor business. So, Onion will give that beautiful taste, a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of a bite to it, I guess. But even more importantly, at the moment, we forgot the sweet potatoes. So uh, you need to peel maybe two or three sweet potatoes. And if you want to do some more, do some more, you know, you can, you can decide for yourself. Um, I'm not one of those chefs that are, is very strict about you know, you need three sweet potatoes and two and a half pumpkin. No, you, you can decide for yourself, you know, play around a little bit, you know, uh, improvise, you know, cooking is improvisation. You want to express yourself. You want to, you want to create something that is uniquely you, you know, so, so do, do whatever you want. Two or three, do you feel like putting in three potatoes? Put, put in three. Okay. But first, uh, we do our favorite job and that is peel the sweet potatoes. Here we go. This, this is really an invention, man. This this um, this peeler, this potato peeler. I got it for my birthday the other day, and it was one of the best presents I ever got because it makes life so much easier. It's amazing. It just grabs the skin of the potato like it just knows where it is, you know? It's, a, it's an intelligent potato peeler, I'd say. Okay. Second sweet potato. And you know what? Today I feel like maybe putting in a third as well. Yeah, we're gonna make a big, a big pumpkin soup. I'm gonna divide it over several little Tupperware uh, cases, you know, or Tupperware, I don't even know the English word for it, but you, you know what I mean, right? So I'm gonna put it in a freezer for like the next three months, you know? So I have, I always have pumpkin soup. If people come in and say, hey, Elgie, what are you doing? Can, can we have some food? I say, yeah, sure, pumpkin soup. It's in the freezer, I just warm it up, yeah? 
good. In the meantime, the oven is ready. I don't know whether you heard, so that is not a good sign. That's not a good sign because the oven is quick. <laughs> it's, it's ready way too quick, you know? Like, I mean, I need another 10 minutes doing this, but um, I don't know, we'll, we'll deal with it later. Because after a while, when the oven is warm, it shuts off if, if they know if the oven knows that I'm not using it it's a problem okay so again with the sweet potatoes you're gonna cut them in three and you're gonna divide them you know you're gonna divide them over the bowl you know not put all the sweet potatoes in one corner no, no of course not you're gonna divide them so look it's quite lovely, isn't it? This is the uh, oven bowl. This is the garbage. And now I have uh, in it onions, sweet potato, and pumpkin. So now I only have to um, prepare the ginger and the garlic, and then I'm gonna top it with some olive oil. So obviously the easiest way to do your garlic is um, in this special way. I learned, my mom taught me when I was uh, five, so I've been doing it my whole life. It's just like putting a knife on top of the garlic, you see, and just go like this. And then you take the skin off a little bit. Yeah, and you can cut it in small pieces, not too small, and then you're gonna do the next one. How many garlic cloves do you need? I've got no idea, no idea. I, I, I like a bit of garlic um, and it's healthy and uh, if people don't get too close to you. So it's all positive things. Yeah. And now just to top it off, we're gonna add some ginger. Ginger is a lovely, um, I don't even know what it is, man. A fruit, a vegetable, a thing. It's a lovely thing. And we're gonna cut it in very small pieces, very strong, very strong, but it gives a lovely extra kick to the soup, okay? Always take off the end bit. It's gone bad. And um, yeah, let's say, <laughs> But <laughs> this is too much, this is too much. But you need to obviously take off the, um, the skin as well. Skin is very dangerous for your health, not good. Okay, you can always put the rest in a teacup. It's good if you're sick. <laughs> and here we go. Just right amount. It's a lovely extra freshness to it. Right, George? Freshness in the soup. That's what we want, a little bit. Okay. Okay, we'll see if this is uh, too much or not. Okay, last thing is we're gonna drench drench the bowl, the, the oven bowl in some uh, olive oil, otherwise it will burn. Okay, and then we'll put the oven bowl in the oven for 40 minutes at 175 degrees centigrade. There's three, four minutes to go on the clock, on the oven, and um, now you can boil some hot water. Okay, 
it's ready. And watch this. Oh my god. Oh, it's a nightmare. No, okay. It's alright. But. Okay, look at this. Fantastic. So I'm gonna whack it all in this pan. And um, I still, I mean, first I'm gonna put some boiling water in it um, with two pieces of, uh, how do you call it, broth? I don't know what it's called, but um, in Dutch we call them bouillon of Maggie. Maggie. Maggie? That's terrible. I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna put in two of these. Two of these and some uh, hot water, some boiling water, all right? I'm gonna put this into the pan with the uh, broth. Now the big question is always, how much water do you put in? It doesn't really matter, it's totally up to you, okay? It's all about improvisation, yeah? I want you to improvise, I encourage you to improvise. No, this is way too much. Just give this a bit of a stir. Stir it a little bit. And now we're gonna whack everything into the big pan with uh, broth, with stew. I don't even know how to call it. It's like those little little blocks of, uh, like you make soup out of it. It's, it's normally a soup, but now you put the soup sort of as a base of the pumpkin soup. Am I cheating? Is it cheating? I'm sure it is. But this is how we do it in Holland. And now you're gonna get this beauty of a machine. It's called a staff mixer in Holland. And you're gonna uh, mix the ingredients with the water. Make sure when you press it like this, you keep pressing it. And don't lift it, because otherwise you're gonna get a pumpkin uh, fest festivity in your uh, kitchen. Look, look at this beauty, guys. Not bad for an amateur chef, right? First meal ever cooked on live on TV. Unbelievable. Yeah, amazing, amazing, very good. All right, guys, this was uh, my pathetic attempt to uh, cook for you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And um, this is the, uh, the yeah the world's most famous Dutch uh, pumpkin soup. Have a good one.